Everyone in here is the product of pregnancy. I think that's safe to say that you were all born. <laughs> in the UK, 1,900 babies are born every day, and that actually is one born every minute. However, not all pregnant women have that happy outcome. And that's because pregnancy isn't easy. One of the most serious and most common complications is severe high blood pressure during pregnancy, otherwise known as hypertension. And this can develop into things like preeclampsia. Worldwide, 116 women die every day of hypertensive pregnancy complications. And this isn't a new disorder. We've known about this for millennia. It was first described in ancient Greece in 400 BC, yet we still don't fully understand it and we still don't have a cure. What we do know is that there's an organ that influences it. This organ is the placenta. It's unique to pregnant women and it's absolutely vital for a successful pregnancy. It's the constant companion of the baby 24 seven for nine months developing in the womb. And its main role is to provide this baby with oxygen and nutrients. Uh, it does this by changing the blood vessels in the womb of the mother, making them larger and wider, directing the blood flow to the placenta so it can take the oxygen and nutrients and pass those on to the baby. Problems arise when this goes wrong. And in hypertensive complications, we know that these blood vessels are narrower and smaller. And that's where my research comes in. So at this point, you might be thinking, what on earth have rats got to do with this? And, that, and rats and humans have a really similar pregnancy. So of course, I'm not talking about the number of offspring they can have. Women tend to usually have one or two per pregnancy, whereas rats can have up to 15. What I am talking about is the actual development of the placenta and how the placenta impacts the, these maternal blood vessels. They're remarkably similar between rats and humans. I'm looking at how these blood vessels change in a special hypertensive rat model of pregnancy. And we found that the genetics of the mother can influence how these blood vessels change in response to the placenta. And in these hypertensive pregnancies, these blood vessels essentially ignore these signals. So my research so far has developed our understanding and our knowledge of hypertensive pregnancies and could be used to predict which women are going to develop these complications of pregnancy. And this will allow us to provide a better treatment for them. And hopefully one day we'll be able to find a cure.